Let's go. Into the box. All right. Come on. Ah. Uh, jumped one too many times. <laughs> Go. Cool. Yep. Got it. Son of a bitch. Is that actually gonna crush me if I go all the way over? Let's hope not. Shit! <laughs> too much damage, too much damage. Come on. Love how everything's just activating off the music. Ooh, that was fucking close. Well, I'm probably gonna die. Cool. So far, so good. Nope, that's not gonna do. So we're gonna have to jump up this way, get that, then click that button. Jump up here. I'm gonna have to do the same trick. Okay, I see. Go this way. Ah. Lost my composure. It's cool. 84. So the new goal is sub 100 deaths. <laughs> if we can. We'll see. There we go. Easy peasy. Whew! Almost got killed there. Ooh, that was tricky. That was some tricky movement right there, boys. Woo! Just about there, boys. Aha! Dude, look at that! Look at that smooth shit. Oof. That's what I'm talking about, man. I fucking love this game. <laughs> I love this game so damn much. Okay. Boss coming up, maybe? Ah, so close. Oh, yep, here we go. Boss is coming up, boys. We've almost finished this game. It's gonna be the first game we've actually completed from start to finish in a long time. Like, a long fucking time. Need anything? Chat. Current area. Well, this is it. This is my last chance to take care of any unfinished business before the big ending. Is a frog's ass watertight? I guess so. Precisely. 
many stories to share. One good story for the road. One last one for the road, huh? Why, of course, here's one for you. There once was a little boy stuck in a well. It wasn't really clear why he was in there, and people assumed he fell while playing or that someone had pushed him. In truth, he had jumped in there himself. He spent years in the well, wasting away anxiously, feeling utterly inadequate. He had a deep desire to share his ideas with the world, but shame having played such a big part in his upbringing, his will lay broken. That's why the well suited him so perfectly, a place to hide where he could be alone with his stories, with no one to mock or judge him. A safe life, unfortunately devoid of purpose, but at least shielded from rejection. One day he was role-playing, a wanderer passing by and looked down at the well. Hey, what's going on down there? He asked curiously, intent on joining in on the fun. Oh, nothing. Sorry about the noise, the little boy replied. And thus the well remained silent for weeks. The wanderer, patient and compassionate, sat by the well for all that time. His mind was already made up. He would do whatever it took to get that little boy out of there so that he could share his stories with the world. The creative flame in that little boy's heart refused to die, and eventually he started role-playing again. And so the wanderer very cautiously start, uh, started interacting with him again, telling him that his stories were entertaining and nothing to be ashamed of. Their friendship built really slowly based on genuine interactions and trust. Intentions, excuse me. A few months later, the wanderer and the little boy were sitting together in the well, laughing and sharing stories. The well became an increasingly inhabitable place, and passerby started looking in. I think I'm not the only one who would like to hear your stories, the wanderer amused one day. I'm too afraid to climb out, the little boy replied. It's okay, the wanderer reassured him. Let me know when you're ready. Years passed, the little boy's imagination becoming more focused, his thoughts and stories shaping into a concrete little world. And then one day he decided to take the chance. He would build this world and show it to everyone. The wanderer helped him climb out. Mercy, Philip. <laughs> the little boy shared his ideas with the creators of all crafts, and to his surprise, they wanted to help build it. And so the small team was put together, and officially became, and he officially became a writer. I wish I could tell you it all ended in fame and fortune, but I trust you understand it's not what this whole journey has ever been about anyway. Mercy Sylvan, Mercy Eric, Mercy Martin, Mercy Michael, Mercy Philip, Mercy Jean-Luc, Mercy Carl, Mercy Savannah, and Mercy Malgan. Level boss. I'm guessing that's like a more of a personal story for the dev? I think I hear Phantom's tune. Yes, the time has come. Any advice? I'm sorry, all we know is that the curse is very strong within him and you need to do this one on your own. Godspeed, messenger. Alright. Let's hope we can get this done pretty, uh, pretty easily. A visitor? I must be having dreams again. Are you okay? I mean no harm. Intentions matter a little. My tune must be played. It was fated. <gasps> Who are you? Did you get my message? How dare you trespass here? I'm here to help. I've been- you've been cursed. <gasps> cursed? It's all true then, isn't it? All of it, but you can end this now. Remove the mask. Preposterous! I shall make short work of you! I'm not your enemy. You created the scroll, didn't you? Impossible. How long has it been? Did someone really get my message? Enough! You will pay for your treachery! Listen to me, Phantom. It took centuries, but humanity never gave up on you. Lies, lies, lies! I'm here to set you free. I shall have none of it. Prepare to die, intruder! Okay. You're lost, Phantom. Whoop. 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 Whoa, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Shit. Shit, shit. Crap. Got him. Come on. We got this. We can do this. Shit. Get him, 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 get him. Fuck. Get 
Ah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, whoa, 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 shit. Shit. Yes! First try, got him! Whew, the focus, the focus on that, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is it not over? Is it not over? Is there more? <laughs> Thank you, I... Profit's been released. Or, not Profit, but, um, Phantom, excuse me. The music box. No, all my memories, my love. Sucks. This is bad, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> yeah. I really hope they can make it out fun. I'd really love, love to finally meet Phantom. I'm so worried right now. What if the shopkeeper doesn't get here in time? I knew I should have gone myself. <laughs> no, I gotcha. Uh, we made it. It's finally over. Oh, it's Phantom. Did you want to try the Tower of Time Challenge I designed? <laughs> Give him some time. He had quite a ride. <laughs> but I've been waiting for this moment ever since I was first given the scroll. Can't you just breathe? Just this once. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's wrong? The curse. The mass energy. I don't want to go back. I can't. All those walls. You're safe now. Don't worry. Uh-oh. It's here. It wants to take me back. Help. The mask has returned. Oh, this is bad. As I feared, Phantom was keeping the curse's power contained. How do we stop it? I don't. We don't. Its full force has been unleashed. We were fools. This was their plan all along to let the curse grow in power as we uh, wage an ultimately meaningless battle. Uh-oh. Only to annihilate us completely when we thought we had won. What are you talking about? Surely you won't all give up so easily. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. It's simple. We have to do the thing. The order is down to the three of us. You know we're no match for such a force. Everyone here has been attuned to the scroll, so we shall be able to do the thing. Everyone, with me! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! Got him. Got him. Good old beam struggle. Hell yeah, dude. That was sick. Oh! Victory is ours! <laughs> Messenger, we have defeated you! <laughs> that, was a great, uh, that was a great game, guys. Hell yeah. And there you have it. The Messenger. The cycle broken. Demon King defeated. Phantom was freed. And all thanks to the messenger. Hell yeah. Man. <clears throat> Hold on. <coughs> uh, damn. This has been an amazing, amazing gaming experience. Huge, huge fan of Ninja Gaiden from way, way back in the day on the NES. And the Super NES uh, for the collection and shit like that. I, I just love the crap out of the game style. This is damn near fucking Ninja Gaiden Mark II for, uh, for like, um... For like new age uh, gamers and shit like that. You can get this on Steam. Uh, it, it's fucking amazing, guys. Good old time travel mechanics, tight controls. Uh, the enemies get a little repetitive uh, between the different areas because they use a lot of the same enemy uh, design. But being able to like swap the uh, the sprites from like 8 bit to 16 bit is really, really cool. Um, and being able to do it so seamlessly is also a really, really good feat for them to put together. 
So I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and sticking through with this entire adventure from the start. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, those of you who are watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, sub, click the notification bell, all that shit. And we'll see you for the next gameplay. And for those of you on Twitch, we will see you in the next stream. Hell yeah, guys. Hell yeah. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. Woot, woot, woot.